Hi, today I'm going to show you how to convert a recurring decimal into a fraction. Uh, this is the second part, so make sure you watch my first video uh, before you attempt this exercise. Um, these decimals here will have two dots above the numbers. So let's look at example one. So we need to convert 0 0.23, there's a dot on the 2 and the dot on the 3, and we've got to convert it into a fraction. First of all, let me just explain what these two dots mean. This means the 2 and the 3 is repeating at the end. So everything between the two dots gets repeated. So the first step is to let x equal this recurring decimal. So let me just write it out in full. So it's 0 0.23232323. etc. So let me call this equation 1. So the next thing I want to do is multiply both sides of this equation by 10. So x times 10 is 10x, and if I multiply this by 10, all the numbers move over the decimal point one place, you get 2.32323, etc. Now, I cannot subtract these two equations just yet to get rid of the decimals, so I need to keep multiplying by 10 until I get the, decim the numbers after the decimal point matching. So I'm going to multiply by 10 again. So 10x times 10, which is 100x. And if I multiply this by 10, all the numbers move over the decimal point. I get 23.2323, etc. Now if you notice now that the numbers after the decimal point of my th third equation match the numbers after the decimal point of my first equation. So I'm going to subtract equation 1 from equation 3. So on the left hand side I'll have 100x take away 1x. That will give me 99x. And if I take away 23.2323 minus 0.2323 I only have to take the whole numbers away because I know the decimals cancel. 23 take nothing is 23. So I end up with the equation 99x equals 23. All I need to do now is solve this equation. x is being multiplied by 99 so if I divide both sides by 99 I get the answer of x is equal to 23 ninths. And this is my final answer so I've rewritten the recurring decimal as a fraction. So let me have a look at one more example then. So this time I need to convert 0 0.354, there's a dot on the 5 and the dot on the 4, into a fraction. So everything between the two dots gets repeated. So let me just say x is equal to 0 0.3. So it's only the 5 and the 4 being repeated at the end. So let me call this equation 1. So Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 10. So x times 10 is 10x, and if I multiply this by 10, I get 3.5454, etc. So I can't take these two equations away as the numbers after the decimal point don't match. So I'm now going to multiply by 10 again. So that will give me 100x. And if I multiply this by 10, I get 35.4545, etc. Right, now, do any of these decimals match? Uh, I don't think they do. So, what I need to do now is multiply by 10 again to give me a fourth equation. So, 100x take away 10x, uh, so 100x times 10 is 1000x. And if I multiply this by 10, I get 354.5454, etc. So this is my fourth equation. Now if you notice now that the numbers after the decimal point here match the numbers after the decimal point in my second equation. So I'm going to subtract these two. So I'm going to do equation of 4 minus equation 2. So on the left hand side I've got 1000x minus 10x, that will give me 990x. 
and on the right hand side I've got 354 take away 3 because I know the decimals cancel out so that will give me 351 and then I just need to solve this equation by dividing both sides by 990 and I will get my final answer as 351 over 990 and that's all you need to do thanks for watching